I know crack is a derivative of cocaine. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a drug. Drugs and alcohol person. I never. I've just never really liked it. I don't know. I've. Tr I've tried a bunch of shit, but I don't know. It's just never been for me, bro. The only. The only drug that I tried that I actually liked that I'll never fucking do again because I know I liked it was Adderall. That shit, I loved, and. I could see- I see how people get addicted to it. And it- it fucks you up. It's- I know- I- I have fucking people I know that I've done YouTube shit with have fucked up hearts because they abused Adderall. And they're just like- like, they're- they're gonna die early because of it. Like, they have the heart of a, like, goddamn 80 year old man and they're 30. Because they just couldn't put the shit down. ADHD medication gives you just like unbelievable fo like so you know when you're in the zone, you know when you're like it, uh, working on something, and like you like are just firing on all cylinders and like you're getting a ton of work done, or you're playing a video game and you're you're just like fucking cerebral. You're just in the matrix, just crushing it. It's that in a pill form. It is productivity and winning in a pill. It's not a pill. It's not something you take when you want to have fun. It's not something you take to get high. It's something you take to do your taxes. And the problem with that is that you can justify that to yourself because you're like, oh, I'm taking this because I'm a professional. I'm taking this to work hard to better myself. And then it it starts and then you take one of them because one of them works and one of them works fucking great Well, then all of a sudden one doesn't do the trick anymore And you're taking you know one and a quarter of one and that does the trick for a while and then that doesn't work And then you're taking you know one and a half and then two and now you're at the point where if you don't take two You are fucking useless and now you're taking two and two and three and three and like that's how it just spirals out of control so, yeah, dude, do not fuck with ADHD medication. Uh, I cannot believe that we give it to children and they eat it like Skittles. It is crazy to me. I had a child's dose of slow-release Adderall for a- like, literally for a child and was absolutely lasered in. Like, it, it was unreal. It was unreal, the effect it had on me. I was... superhuman. It was crazy. It's bad news. It's really bad news. I know I know, I did a terrible job at telling you it's bad news with that speech, but do not fuck with the shit. It will fuck you up. You will do insane amounts of damage to your heart if and when you get addicted to it. Uh, so don't do it. I, I know multiple people that have really permanent health... Def like permanent health effects now because they abused Adderall. So a lot of the Red Bull addicts, they, they, there's a lot more going on there. Like, it's not necessarily just the Red Bull that's doing it, which doesn't help. The Red Bull doesn't fucking help, but a lot of it is people are like self-medicating the fact that they get no sleep. So they just drink a bunch of Red Bull. Uh, now that is a really bad combination. See, I try to avoid all caffeine with the exception of pre-workout, baby. Oh, I love all- I love my fucking pre-workout, but... I want the actual- I want the performance- I want the performance benefit of caffeine, so- through- so I try to avoid it... entirely, with the exception of pre-workout. And dude, I get fucking cranked on my shit, bro. I, uh, I use Hyde, which is the pre-workout for fucking insane people. Anyone that's familiar, uh, knows? I have had the original Jack 3D. I only had it once. I had a, uh, a friend that had an old, an old fucking thing he found. He got it on the internet or some shit. Bro, it really did have fucking amphetamines in it. Holy shit. I have never experienced anything like that in my fucking life. Yo, know, that shit. That is such a fucking ridiculous thing that happened. Yeah, dude, so what I used to do, now, 
Like I said, I am not a uh, drugs and alcohol person, but if you know, then you know about Broncade and Ephedrine. Talk about a fucking pre-workout, bro. You get some caffeine, some uh, Broncade, and a baby aspirin, bro. Combine those three. That is some shit. That is some fucking... Un unreal shit. But they don't sell uh, Bronc. You can't buy that shit anymore, apparently. I don't know. I called a pharmacy to see if they had it. Because it's just uh, like asthma medication or some shit. And uh, they told me they couldn't tell me that information over the phone. And I felt like a fucking drug addict. And I haven't done it since. But uh, yeah, that shit. Pretty fire. I'm definitely not a tobacco person. Um, my favorite secondhand smoke is uh, Marlboro Red, though. Because, uh, you know, all the guys I used to weld with just love those fucking cow- They love those cowboy killers. Shaved a few years off my life with that shit. God damn, those guys would smoke. It was crazy. The amount of money they must have spent on cigarettes was just crazy. They love that shit. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join the Discord. It's free.